Okay, this is the build for the Maxim 3000.2. Tools needed. Number 10 drill bit with a drill. Number 2 uh, Phillips bit and a 3 8 uh, driver bit and a ladder. And this step, set the door on your base. And you can use anything else if you're doing one unit to elevate it up off the ground so you don't have to bend over. Once you got your door in there facing down, the face down, pull the rod out of the pan. And then bring a side panel in. There's a tapered, there's a tapered end on here that goes in. And it helps to twist it while you're shoving it in there. And then you do the finish up. Okay, for this, for putting the base to the unit itself, in uh, this uh, insert here and the ones on the sides, we use this 22384 on, on the inserts, which got this uh, leader end on it. So we pull this up on there. And line up your hole, get it started. And then we go down to the other side. You gotta make sure you run these down in there straight so they don't cross thread. And then for the other three holes here, we just use the um, regular lag screws, one, three, eight, six O's. See the uh, insert in the hole and run this in straight. And then 
then the other the other four will run in just the leg screws into the divots into the dimples that are in the in the uh, base. They should be lined up with the holes when it's in the proper position. side should be lined up in position and just putting the leg screws. Step is take out the shipping screw and save the screw. You need it later. So change back to your 3/8 driver bit. Line up your insert here. Run it down. The other screw for the insert here. Run that in there, and then. Come back over here. There's a dimple here and a dimple under the hinge. You fill these two with the legs here. Okay, with the door depressed. Open your latch to the green position, and then we're going to go over here. Open the door and put the last leg screw in the dimple in the front panel in the jam. inside the unit already because you used it as a wall prop. So we turn it around in its proper position. And push it down into the position it's supposed to be in. And then you have parts, your vent pipe, urinal, and paper guards on the inside of the tank. We'll take them off. Now the bottom section of your vent pipe yeah, it looks like this here. It's got the tapered bottom on it and the uh, cutout for the next section. And what you do is you shove that into the large hole in the left rear corner of the tank. Shove it in there tight. Take the next section, which is the center section. It has the two ears on each side and the, and the coat hook up. And you shove that into the bottom section. And then this is the top section with this. Just with the top stack on there and then this here part that goes into the center section.
pushing the vent pipe into the corner tight, drill into the panel one layer only. As soon as it goes through, stop. Don't go through the second layer, you'll be outside. Then you take the 18543 peel rivet, it's got the rib shank on it. Put it in there, push it all the way in tight, rivet. And then repeat in the other ear over here. Push it in tight. One layer only. Push it in. Okay, for the next procedure, we're going to put in the paper guard, and there's these four little, little round circles on the inner panel. You drill them out. Only going through the inner panel. You go through, stop. Okay, we're going to use the 18543 peel rivets with the rib shank on the paper guard. Okay, with the rivet in the right upper right hand corner, put it into the first hole at the top. You push it in there tight and pull. Got to go into that panel. And then into the upper left hole. And find the, the hole. Shove it in there so you hear it snap in the panel. Pull. And then repeat on the bottom two holes. Push it in there until you hear it snap into the panel. Pull. And the last one. And then put in the uh, paper guard spindle from the back through the slot in the front slot and then squeeze the uh, taps together into the into the back of the unit. Okay, we're going to put this tank screws in. Use the regular leg screws. And there's a dimple up at the top of this slot here. A little, little dimple in there. And tight. And go around the back. And this slot here at the bottom, there's a dimple. And then on this short slot here, there's a dimple up here. And then the last one goes into this slot here, in this dimple. Okay, putting the uh, end of the barrel in here, put it back and forth in there, shove it into the hole, and pull this here up on the urinal, bring it down here in place, and line this hole up with the dimple here, and then drill through one layer only. And the kit, there's a 22199 rivet with the large flange head that goes into the hole, and you rivet the uh, urinal down here. Okay, shooting the hole through the panel, shoot it towards the door this way. And then there's a 11024, it's a longer aluminum rivet. That'll go from the outside through the hole you just drilled, and a 1135 washer will go on the inside. Okay. Okay, on the, these covers on the toilet seat, use a straight blade screwdriver or a puncher all to pop these, because if they're tight, you flip them with your thumb, you'll rip, the, you'll rip this off. So then, put this in here over the holes. Put your black, black screws down through the holes. Line the seat up with the, where it goes. And then uh, flip up the seat, and put the nut on the inside and tighten it up. Snap your clips back 
pipe down. Okay, in the kit there's these black expandable rivets, 1703s. They'll go into the handle. In the holes in the door. Long latch goes into this here with the, with the latch facing towards the inside of the jam. And you use a 11270 stainless in this uh, in the latch. The 1135 backer washer on the inside. And hang on to just the washer because the stainless get hot. This latch goes in from the back side of the door. Same stainless rivets. Washer on the inside. Okay. In the kit, there's a coat hook and same large flange 22199 rivet. Rivet that into the hole here. The roof goes on here with the vent pipe bolts and flattens out. With the arch in the front. Okay, the screw you pulled, the shipping screw you pulled out of the bottom of the door. Bring it up here into the in the re recess here, pull your vent pipe over and screw it down. And then pull your roof over and pull it down. Okay, now I rivet the roof down with the same 22199 rivets, large flange. Pull the roof down in place, line it up with your First hold, push it in tight. Make sure it's down tight. Start here, next to the hinge, and go around. And uh, just go around and find each one of your holes. Push it in tight as your rivet. Push it in and keep the uh, rivet gun at a slight angle and push while you're pulling the trigger. So it pulls the rivet in tight.
your finished Max 3000.2.